All right, today we're going to talk about screwdrivers. A uh, big important part of the electrical industry, having put things together. Um, many different uh, varieties of screwdrivers that you use. This one here is a Yankee. This is an old Yankee. Um, as you can see, as you push it in, it rotates. I can lock it so that you, it's just a regular screwdriver, or I can push it so it rotates in the opposite direction. Uh, these were big when uh, before the advent of the electric drill. Uh, I should say the battery drill. If you take the end off, you carry your extra bits here, um, and you got screwdriver bits, and you got um, drill bits. That's actually a drill bit. So this was the um, battery drill at the time. The only thing is, you were the battery. Uh, they're nice because you don't need any electricity. Uh, I've used one for years. This one and a longer Yankee. Um, the issue is though, when you, you push it in, if you let go, you can put it through the drywall. But they're, they're still available. Uh, they still work nice. Um, something to check out. This one's got a reamer actually built on the end, which is the main purpose I use it for now. Uh, next is the uh, nut driver. As you can see, it's just like a socket. Some guys call them spin tights. Uh, they come in different uh, sizes. Uh, this one's a deep shank. You can see the hole in the middle. And it goes clear down the end of the, the shaft so I can use it on a long stud. Uh, they usually come in a set. Anywhere from six to, to nine in a set. Depending on the sizes. Very handy to have these. Um, you'll use these a lot. Here's a, another specialty tool. It is a straight screwdriver. It's got a straight screwdriver in it that's, that's got a, a sleeve around it. So when you put it onto the fitting and you tighten the screw, it won't slide off. It's also got a pipe reamer. This does half, three quarter an inch. As you can see, the three quarter one was used a lot. It was broken off. But it reams the inside and the outside pipe all at once. And then on the opposite end, it's got a wire nut wrench. So if your hands are getting raw from, your fingers getting raw from tightening them wire nuts, you can put the wire nut in here, turn it. Gives you a little something bigger to turn. This is made by Ideal Company. Um, Klein Tools makes one too, but Klein's does not have the, the wire nut wrench. Handy little tool, runs around $20. If you do a lot of pipe work, this is one of the best investments that you will get. A pipe reamer, screwdriver, combination. Fits in your pouch real well. This looks like a standard screwdriver, but is actually a number two Robertson, or a number two square tip. Um, a lot of the industry has gone to the square tips because they don't slip as much as the, the, the straight blade or the Phillips because once you get this down in it's in where the Phillips is a tapered tapered end and you can see it says right here number two they come in different sizes you can get them in ones twos threes um, it's red on the end lets you know when you look down your pouch that this is your number two uh, this one here is a Torx some people call them star tip this one here, you look on the, the screwdriver, it's a T15, Torx 15. And they are, you can get them in, in 10s and 12s and 20s, and that all depends on the size of the, of the Torx fitting that you're using. Next one, the biggest one here is the um, Phillips. Now you notice I got four different Phillips here. This is a number one. This is a number two. These are number twos. This is a number one. See how small it is? I can get these down to a zero or up to a three. But they number them so you know which one you're looking for. Now these three are number twos. I got a Craftsman and two Kleins. This one here is a high voltage.
screwdriver. It's good for a thousand volts. If you nick this, you'll actually see a different color underneath. That way you know that you've nicked it. This is a standard Klein Phillips. And this is a Craftsman Phillips. Now the one thing I wanted to point out here was when you look at these two Phillips, you notice how one's got a black tip and one doesn't. Klein is, is under the idea that they don't chrome their tips. They stop the chrome short because that chrome is slippery. And if you put the chrome on the end, then it, it gives you a better chance that that uh, screwdriver is going to slip out of the screw. So that's why you'll see a lot of Klein tools, the Phillips anyhow, are not chromed on the very end. All right. And of course it's got the rubber grip. Uh, here's another little specialty screwdriver. This one's actually a tap. It comes with uh, 632, 832, and 1032. These are the ones that you're going to use most. Or it's a 1024, I'm sorry. You're going to use these most. In the electrical field, so you get a box that's got damaged threads, a metal box, you can run this in, chase the threads, run it back out, and clean those threads up. Nice tool to have. Uh, this one's made by GB, everybody makes them. So, handy tool to have. Here we've got some straight screwdrivers. I've got a Klein, notice the rubber grip. For more cushion. It's also a little bit bigger. It's easier to grip than the Craftsman. Um, I use Craftsman tools a lot when I was in the field. The issue is they break easy. They break a lot easier. If you notice how much thicker that blade is on that Klein, even though it's the same width, it's got a lot more meat to it. Now the selling point to the the Craftsman is it's a square shank so I can put a wrench on there and help turn it. To me you put a wrench on there to help break it. So there's something wrong if you got to do that. Here's a zero high voltage eighth inch. So you can get these in, in different sizes. They're up to number three on these. Um, don't see them much anymore. Most everything is Phillips now because Put in a drill. You've got it. <clears throat> Here's a 10 and 1. It's made by Klein Tools. Um, when they say 10 and 1, they're talking about the number 2 Phillips and the straight, the quarter inch nut driver or spin tight, the 5 16 nut driver, the Number one Phillips, straight. The number two and number one Robertson. And take the last one out. The number one and number two star. So when you count the nut drivers and the star tips and the Robertson tip, you got 10 different sizes of screws in this one screwdriver. And you can get them in six and ones. Um, as you can see, they, they'll, they'll short out just as well as a regular screwdriver will. Um, there's no question about that. As you can see here, we uh, short that one pretty good. But these are handy, handy uh, um, screwdrivers. The issue with these is they've got a large shank on them. So it's hard to get them into to some, some areas because the shank here is so big that it doesn't always like to go into tight areas. And then you've got the kits. Now this kit here has a lot of tamper-proof screwdrivers, tips, tamper-proof, uh, the three-prong, the uh, the center pin, the hex bits, 
the Torx bits, um, the different size Phillips or straights and Phillips. Here I go from a, a zero to a three. Actually, one of my threes is missing. I go from a zero to a three in the straight. It even comes with an adapter if I want to use sockets. If I want to use quarter inch sockets, um, that all comes with it. Comes with a little handheld screwdriver. So these are nice. You can find these in, in various uh, sizes. Um, again, the reason I bought it was of all the tamper resistant screws that are in here, these tips are hard to find. So I picked it up just for the tamper resistant screws, but I've used a lot of the square tip and the uh, Phillips tips out of this kit. So this is another option when you're talking about screwdrivers and screw tips in the electrical trade. If you got any questions, please feel free to contact your instructor. He can give you more information on this matter.